And despite its modest size, Zurich, Switzerland has higher transit ridership than many large European cities. Zurich is well known for its high quality tram network, which would be called light rail in North America. But Zurich's network of electric buses is less well known. The main streets in downtown are served by frequent trams and massive double articulated battery electric trolley buses that can carry 180 people. Zurich is aiming to have 100% electric buses by 2030. My name is David Soar and I work for the public transport company of Zurich. We are starting now to extend the trolley bus system and introduce battery buses on smaller vehicle sizes. Zurich is a city that has already a trolley bus system with 74 buses at the moment. So we try to keep that as our backbone of the electric bus system in Zurich. And we are planning to extend two lines at the moment with the combination of battery trolley buses. We have a need to extend some part of the wire for those two additional lines. They go up to a big university campus on a hill and there we need powerful infrastructures to bring the electricity to the buses. Zurich's trolley buses are equipped with batteries that allow them to operate off wire for about 10 kilometers. However, battery trolley buses are available with off-wire ranges of over 30 kilometers, and overhead wires only need to cover between one-fifth and two-thirds of the route. It is very common to see battery trolley buses connecting and disconnecting from the overhead wires in Zurich. The bus drivers just have to operate a switch once they are in the correct place. Cities with existing trolley bus wire networks, such as Lyon, Vancouver, Seattle and San Francisco, Shanghai and Beijing, and over 300 other trolley bus cities around the world already have powerful charging systems in place for electric buses. These cities are well positioned to quickly shift to 100% electric buses. Experts from cities such as Berlin and Stockholm told the 2018 e-bus conference in Solon and Germany that different types of electric bus charging systems are required for different transit lines. Buses that charge overnight work best for smaller buses that don't travel far per day. Buses that stop and charge at fast chargers have a role on moderately demanding lines. But the heavy lifting is best done by battery electric trolley buses, which are the most practical technology for large buses on the busiest and most demanding routes, including bus rapid transit lines. Since high capacity electric bus lines are less expensive and quicker to build than other forms of rapid transit, electric bus rapid transit is a crucial climate solution. As every city we have some hotspots where the buses, trolley buses or other buses always get caught in traffic and we are really trying to resolve that by prioritizing public transport in forms of bus lanes or also signal priority. That's uh, even more important than electrification, I think. You can find buses and light rail vehicles stuck in traffic in Zurich, but much less so than in most other cities. Instead, transit riders get dedicated lanes or streets mysteriously free of congestion. Many roads in Zurich have dedicated transit lanes, and if you look closely, you will often see separate traffic signals for transit. The seemingly simple painted bus lanes work well because the signals prioritize transit vehicles over other traffic and restrict the volume of traffic entering stretches of streets without transit lanes. This innovative two-way bus lane will soon be replaced by making the street transit only, which will make transit even more attractive compared to driving. Zurich may have the most sophisticated transit priority and congestion management system in the world. Computers do most of the work of keeping transit riders moving smoothly. But there is also a control room where people can intervene if transit riders are being delayed. Car traffic quickly expands to fill expanded road space in urban areas. The old cliché, you can't build your way out of congestion, has been proven true over and over again. And the opposite is also true. When you make a car lane into a bus lane, traffic disappears and traffic speeds don't usually change much. The 2004 European Commission report, Reclaiming City Streets for People, notes that while it is typically assumed that reducing the capacity available for cars 
will result in increased traffic congestion in the surrounding streets. The experience in a number of European cities is that some of the traffic disappears or evaporates. Because so much road space has been dedicated to transit, people in Zurich can usually choose to avoid traffic congestion by riding transit. And there seems to be less congestion in Zurich than in many other European cities. On May 13, 2019, the Canton of Zurich declared a climate emergency. Hopefully Zurich's electric buses will soon be getting even more bus lanes and more effective transit priority. Zurich's experience provides lessons that can be applied in any city's climate emergency response. If you want to find out more about Zurich's success story, check out streetfilm.org's excellent video, Zurich, a world-class transit metropolis. Thank you.